Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to convert mixed numbers into improper fractions and vice versa. Now the first thing that we need to understand is what does a mixed number look like and what does an improper fraction look like. Now a mixed number always has a large number with a regular looking fraction at the side of it. Whereas an improper fraction looks like a regular fraction, but the numerator is always larger than the denominator. Here we have two and three quarters. So remember, the large number shows us how many holes we have. So here I have two whole ones. So I'm going to draw using pictures again. So I have two whole ones. Now the denominator this time is a 4, so that shows me that these pieces have been chopped into 4 bits. So I have two whole ones and I have all of these pieces, because they're whole ones. And I also have 3 quarters, so I also have some more pieces but not a full whole, I have 3 out of 4 of them. So if there's four pieces again, I have three out of four of them. Now, as an improper fraction, I would have to count how many pieces there are. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There are eleven. And the denominator would be four because each hole is chopped into four pieces. So eleven fourths is equal to two and three quarters. Let's do another example, but this time we're not going to use the pictures. So this time we have four holes and four fifths. Now the really quick and easy way to convert this to an improper fraction is to multiply the whole number by the denominator. So the whole number is four, the denominator is 5, so 4 times 5 makes 20. And then all you have to do is add whatever the numerator is. So the numerator is 4, and that makes 24. So we take the answer, which is 24, And then all we need to do is take the denominator, which was 5, and shift it over. So 4 wholes and 4 fifths is the same as 24 fifths. Now in our next example, we're actually going to do the reverse of what we've already done. We are going to take an improper fraction and we're going to convert it into a mixed number. Now to do this, all you need to do is you need to take the numerator, which is 13, and you need to divide it by 5. Now, all you have to say is how many 5s are in 13. So if I do my 5 times table, 5, 10, 15. I've only got 13, so 15 is too many. So there are 1, 2, 2 fives, 2 full fives out of 13. And there is 3 remainders. And whatever the remainder is, you put it as the numerator. And then the denominator is made by whatever the denominator was from the improper fraction. So 13 fifths is the same as two whole ones and three fifths. Let's do one more example. So in this example, we have 21 sixths. So remember, we take the numerator, which is 21, and we divide it by six. So in my head, I am asking myself, how many six are in 21? So 6, 12, 18, 
24 is too many, so it's not that. So there is one, two, three. There is three sixes in 21, and there is three remainder, and the denominator was six, so that will always stay the same. So 21 over 6 is the same as 3 whole ones and 3 sixths. Thank you for watching the video today. I hope it was of some value to you. Before you go, on the board here I have two questions for you that you can try and paper at home and then you can type in the answer into the comment section down below and I'll check it for you. So we have 17 fifths. That's an improper fraction. What is that? As a mixed number. We also have three whole ones and two fifths. What is that as an improper fraction?